The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by If you're a homeowner, listen up. Dry weather and droughts can affect the foundation of your home. Here with more is Nick Sproul, a production manager with JES Foundation Repair. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, no problem. So how can a home be damaged by drought? So it can be damaged in a couple different ways. Um, essentially, the, the soil conditions will change underneath the house depending on how much moisture is available. Um, when you've got a, a long drought like we've had here over the past year or so, Essentially, the soil shrink up underneath the home and it leaves voids or air pockets. So below ground, Correct. that's what you're saying is happening. There's air pockets. Yeah. So what will happen is the soil itself, when soil is wet, it expands, turns into mud and it will kind of, you know, expand when it dries out. It does the exact opposite of that. It will shrink up. And when it shrinks up, depending on how much um, expandable soil you have underneath of your home could dictate on how large those voids get or how, how much air pockets are under, under there. And how do soil changes like that, how does that affect your home? Uh, what most people tend to see first are going to be uh, cracks in the drywall. Mm. Um, they might see uh, um, sinking slabs or uh, Yeah, we have cracks. a picture there of a crack. Yeah, that, that's mm -hmm. very common. Um, those are kind of like the first indications. Also, windows or exterior doors sticking. Um, not opening and closing as freely as oh, they were really? when they were first installed. Huh. Um, those are kind of like the major signs, kind of like the symptoms of what's happening below. And then after the drought ends, what happens? So when the drought ends, it really kind of depends on how, um, how long the drought was. So for us in our area, we've got a lot of basements. Um, what will happen is where those voids were, essentially it's an air pocket that's left there the water will uh, flow differently or the, that water will then fill those pockets and start to put pressure on the foundations um, laterally. It could uh, cause cracking in the basement walls, tipping basement walls, things mm -hmm. of that nature. Also uh, leaking basements. We've had homeowners that have had basements where they've never leaked um, since they've been in the home 20, wow. 30, 40 years. And then after major droughts, they tend to start to have waterproofing issues. Gosh, this is making me kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm a local homeowner as well in Roanoke. So how can people protect their homes? Uh, the, the best way to protect it is uh, to get after it early. Um, you know, we can come out, JES does free, uh, no obligation inspections. We can have a certified field inspector come out, um, evaluate the home and kind of put our eyes on it. Um, there's some uh, proactive things that can be done, but every single home is different. And that's why it's very important to call a professional out and, and get their get their eyes on it. Yeah, it is different. As I can imagine, there's so many different circumstances, especially around here with all of the, if you're on a hill or a mountain or a flatland, and how that might all affect it as well. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And you guys mm -hmm. at home, if you'd like more information, you can check out jeswork.com.